Hey, and uh, welcome to the next Betty Eye video. And in this one, I'll be looking at Uber's driver signup flow. It's a set of screens uh, where drivers apply for becoming Uber drivers. Um, I brought with me a handful of uh, issues uh, that could potentially be uh, issues for increasing conversions, as well as they're tagged with the, my personal degree of certainty. The metric, obviously, which I'm optimizing for, which I'm aiming to increase uh, through these set of changes, are uh, more driver signups. So people um, getting through a series of steps. Here, I just took a look at uh, the landing page. Um, and also the f step two. Uh, in reality, there is uh, probably another four or five steps, which kind of look like this. Um, so for simplicity's sake, I just took a look at the first two screens, which I think cover most issues. Okay, starting with uh, selling benefits, the first issue. Um, so again, looking at the headline, Uber needs partners like you. I'm thinking this is a benefit for Uber, not really for the driver. Um, so I think there's a big opportunity here to present uh, stronger benefits, like get paid as you drive, uh, drive flexibly on your own terms, on your own time, with your own schedule. Um, things like that. Okay. I'm tagging as a five because I'm referencing one test here that was recently shared on good UI evidence. And, uh, for one of, uh, something similar, another sign up screen, uh, we modified the headline from a handful of, of benefits towards, uh, getting a ton of reviewers reviews for your site. Which seem to, which seems to be like a, in this case, seem to be a stronger benefit, increased um, sign up rate possibly by nine percent. Uh, so I'm referencing this one. It's it's a very lightweight test, uh, packed with uh, a big degree of chance. Maybe it's essentially, maybe it's not really nine percent, uh, but nevertheless, uh, there's here something, and. Yeah, therefore it's a five, five out of 10. Glad you engage. Um, we've observed previously and, and as in other better UI videos um, and in other A-B tests, uh, that if people can choose something up front, um, often a simple choice uh, followed by additional steps. And in that choice, uh, that they express that choice has uh, has value to them and or reassures them that everything's great as they make that decision. Uh, that is one particular way of increasing the motivation for people to to move forward. And it's again a five uh, because I observed this very same interaction perform on this other test. Uh, for uh, online photo printing company. And again, as essentially, as opposed to getting people to purchase something, uh, we first ask people to express book covers. And only then, as people expressed book covers, um, were they invited to, um, to create their book. And this choice uh, increased... Um, purchase rate possibly by up to 32 percent again with a with a with a actually a rather low p-value here um so it's pretty pretty defined the only reason why it's possible is because there aren't that many conversions so there's still a chance for this to turn around anyhow uh gradual engagement seemed to work here we think i think it might also work here uh one column layouts um, we've run a bunch of tests where by centering the form uh, amongst many other changes uh, that seem to help. Um, 
we've re referenced them in the past, so I'm not going to do that here. Uh, but yeah, I think I would send in this form. Benefit buttons, uh, a submit on a button. It's 2016. Come on, let's not do this. Let's let's repeat the benefit, or or at least set expectations or make it clear what the next step will be. Uh, submits to generic. I think we can do better than that. Um, social proof. There's no uh, there's no element, or at least I wasn't able to find any elements on the, on the uh, of social proof elements on this page, and I'm referencing this actually two very 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 insignificant weak tests but nevertheless there are two tests that kind of show the same thing um uh, plus three percent increase uh, to conversions both from the same use of essentially showing counts counts of how many people use a service how many people have downloaded something uh, in this case it's sixty thousand uh, people have used a particular guide on some on some uh, on some screen here and similarly here um, showing download counts also seemed to increase number of leads again very very <laughs> insignificant uh, numbers here so much overlap with uh, this just could be chance this could turn around any minute <laughs> um, but nevertheless two tests that show the same thing so again a very weak uh, very weak data um, but I would also potentially do something similar here. I'll show maybe how many drivers have signed up. Uh, reassurances. This page describes a couple benefits here and, and touches upon when you get paid. I think it's somewhere in one of these paragraphs deep. Uh, I think it's every two weeks or so. Um, Anyhow, I, I thought I, okay, maybe it's um, get paid weekly um, just for helping. Okay, so I think the issue is how often and how much do I get paid? I think that could be clarified and reassured. Um, other question that people might ask themselves as they're signing up is, is it safe for me? Is it safe for my passenger? How does insurance work? Is how, what kind of coverages are there? Um, so I would, I'm guessing those could be some sort of questions that people might ask. And therefore, uh, if if those are true, this page is could be a little bit stronger in conveying those. Uh, smaller commitments. Uh, I'd say communicating again that there's no contracts. People can stop at any time. Like when you sign up, become a driver, it's not like you have to work for know, a given time, a week, a month, a year. You can you can sign up and I, I don't think even you have to drive at all. Um, so I would potentially communicate that. Repetition at the bottom of the screen um, could be another repeated call to action to drive again to the task on this page. Okay, so that's the first landing page for what people see when uh, when they're about to sign up for as an Uber driver. And once they click, once they fill out that form, and a number of additional steps appears. Uh, there's no one. Actually, there's no another issue here. Is um, there's no expectation setting. This is a bit of a little like a bit of a surprise. Um, so somewhere on these screens, there's no, again, there's no uh, communication of how many steps there will be, how long this process will take. Uh, so that's what I mean by this issue here, ranked as a 2 out of 10. Consistency. By now you might have noticed that this button style is a particular style, and all of a sudden it's uh, changed. Um, I think it's, it's good practice to keep styling consistent so it feels like everything's working together as part of the same interface. Tag there's a 3 uh, out of 10. And uh, yeah, so these are the issues. And this is video 1 of 2. And in the next one, 
next follow-up video as part of the Better AI course, I'll be coming up with, uh, with a solution, with a concept to react to these identified issues. All right, hopefully this was useful. Thanks for watching.